At home, Yogi is perfectly happy. Come on in, Yogi. But when it's time to go walkies... Come on, Yogi. Yogi, come on. All he wants to do is stay. Let's go, we're going to go. Come on. Let's go, come on, let's go. We're going to go now, let's go. If I could talk to Yogi, I would just like to ask him what is making you so sad about going out for a walk? I just feel like a bit of a failure, to be honest, as a dog owner. I mean, I can't seem to walk my own dog. Come on, Yogi. I would just really love to know what is happening in his mind when I get that lead out or when I say walkies. <sighs> Luckily, help is on its way. Oh, I love talking to dogs because dogs are great communicators. They always want to talk to me, but I'm always aware that one day I might get one that doesn't want to speak to me. Well, today you might have your work cut out. Yeah, come on. As this one is peculiarly stubborn. Let's go. About going in a particular direction. He won't go right. He'll only go left on a good day. This is really embarrassing. I've had the police stop me before to ask if it's my dog. Yogi, let's go. Yogi, come on. I feel sad because I'm thinking there's something in his mind is kind of trapping him in a way. Yogi's vet has given him a clean bill of health and Claire has already exhausted all other avenues. I've had dog trainers, dog psychologists. I've tried CBD oil, absolutely everything. Come on. Yogi, come on. Claire is hoping a pet psychic can get Yogi back on his feet. If Beth is truly psychic, I feel like she will be able to advise us of why he is the way he is so we can work around that. <laughs>